entry in this because okay. of how often the Renekton is associated with LS. So this is really interesting. So we do get the NAR. It's so a pretty it's fast clip. And if you're playing for a soul win condition, you're generally pretty happy to see Cloud as the first because that's not usually the soul you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a pretty high offensive value. damage. The shielding, but also the slow is really, really fast. Oh, Flash coming out from Pride oh. Stalker, who finds Summit just yeah. waiting. Flash for nothing. Early, you're going to be feeling pretty damn good about your chance of it. No Flash on Winston. Oh, He's dead. Oh, they've already got him rooted. Pride Stalker has joined the fight, and Winston has not. Of course, the shield from Ivern will be enough to keep him alive there. Blaze Olive having no ulti means there's not like, enough burst. Four minutes from now, that third Drake fight, that's going to be the big fight we're really yeah. looking for. Cloud9 will want to take it because they oh, want to have another that dive. Drake. Now we got the dive coming out again. Pride Stalker rooted, stuck underneath that turret and outplayed by Cloud9. They're on the board. Yeah, the Cloud9 bot lane finally get one back, and here comes the collapse. Fudge is coming in. Berserker's going to be taken low, but he will get away. Look at the shielding on the man. God bless. That is a lot of extra HP. A Blaze Olive's now stuck in the bottom side of the river. He's going to be taken down. Blabber is 1v3 in the three. Better run. Blabber's doing a lot of damage to everybody else while Cloud9's able to win their 3v1 instead. Double kill back over to Blabber. Ole, you are not long for this world. Splat that cat. Three. Oh and my that God. is the damage that happens when you win a 1v3. I mean, th that's all they needed, right? You know, it was starting to feel like some shields, and they do have very high consistent damage here, you know, with the victor. But a lot of it is going to be about the initial punch, you know, this combo of Yumi plus Kiana. And that does mean that Cloud9 will be on soul point on an ocean soul map yeah. with a team that already has these double enchanters. They, they look really good in the early stages after that big fight. They've kind of just turtled it back up. They've lost their gold lead. They are going to have some pretty darn good scaling here from Blaze Olo because they were looking like they could have fought at third dragon. Now they have to wait for four, but Fudge is far up. He is looking dead. Oh, goodness gracious blink. So it really can put you to these crazy, crazy numbers where Pride Stalker is already sitting at 300 AD this early in the game. Summit under pressure. Licorice going in here. He's ulted up. The Dominus is ready to go. He's going to be hurt by the Deadly Flourish, but he will not be taken down. Pride Stalker going in. Ole has switched his attachment over to his jungler, and Summit falls. Fudge bit of this damage. Every yeah. little bit of 300 oh, gold worth of stats. 300 gold here, 300 gold there. Blabber's now stuck in the middle. Pride Stalker getting back away. Blabber's going to get shielded up. Licorice goes into the Dominus. Blabber's still moving forward, looking to find a little bit more. The man's full HP. This is why every little bit matters. If you miss it by an inch, you miss it by a mile against this comp. Licorice continues the retreat. Daisy's going to take most of the damage. It won't matter that much. Shot's not going to find it. The dragon goes over to C9. Summit even gets away. Golden Guardians have been outmaneuvered around this bottom side, and Cloud9 win a massive prize. Blabber's gonna find a Blaze Olive right here, face check into the brush. Blabber gets stunned up, but Gwen is immune, and Renekton is not. Fudge. He only had like a couple shots left <laughs> in the fight. Well, the Baron only has a couple shots left. It's helpful. That's out, so true. That's okay. We ended up there anyway as the Baron falls. Cloud9 will secure that one. All five players alive means well, all Now here's Sona. Now here's Ivor. Now, now he's back to full HP. HP. And you are just on the run here as a Renekton, having to spend your resources to just flee the scene while someone is chilling in a side lane a couple levels up at this point from this Renekton who is trying to group, who is trying to help contest things with his team. And now feels like it may be too little too late unless you can find a perfect engage. It's tough to punch through a comp that is ahead with double enchanters. You just almost never really reach that critical mass of damage to where you can kill someone before they can get the heals and the shields on them. Man, you're talking about mass. Well, the Church of LS is having a great time denouncing the evils of Renekton Hallelujah. here in this one because Licorice and the Golden Guardians are now stuck inside their base. Cloud9 applying the pressure. They'll have Baron for another 90 seconds or so, and they want to see how much they can get. Pride Stalker going back over to mid while the dive happens. Bottom, a Blaze Olive. Already dead. Blabber fears no man, fears no turret, fears nothing at all when you got two different enchanters backing you up. Over here in mid, it's Summit Summit 1v2. way out of the 1v2. Ole, get over here! He's going back in, and they're going all the way, and Golden Guardians are going home! Cloud nine! They'll take that Baron buff all the way to the Nexus and take Golden Guardians down! Well, that's the way to do it, entering the LCS, an emphatic 